I don't think people always remain with the same attitude. I think they grow to uh, recognize that there are different ideas and uh, different attitudes. I don't always uh, remain the same, and I don't think anyone else probably do. You, you grow over time. I've always attended church, Sunday school, and even if we went to the beach for two weeks every year for vacation, my mother insisted that we attend the church there at the beach so we wouldn't miss um, service every Sunday. When I joined, I joined the St. Andrew's Church, and uh, that was farther up in Northeast Portland, but it was St. Andrew's Church. And then we were looking for, our church was very, very small. I joined that church in about 1972, I think it was, about 1972. And uh, our church just got where it started raining in it and we wanted to have so many good things and we couldn't do that then and we started looking for a place to go. I joined Ainsworth United Church of Christ in 1978. Well, it wasn't Ainsworth at that time. It was St. Andrews. Let me correct myself, St. Andrews. Later we joined two churches together, Ainsworth and St. Andrews decided to become one church. And our two churches had um, gatherings back and forth before we became one church. And so uh, we would go to St. Andrews for some functions, so they would come here. And then we ended up here because they invited us to come and we came and looked at the church and we thought that this was where we wanted to be. We discussed it with all of our members. And one thing that was different was that we were having church at one hour and the people that was already at this church was having church at another hour. You know, I really felt good about it. I thought it was the right thing to do. Uh, it kind of from the get-go bothered me that I would come here for, well, the other church would meet first and then we, our church would meet second, and we, you know, in the same faith, and I thought, well, why is this going on? One of the members in this, in the UCC church said that she thought that we should have church together, and that's when we merged. We're one of the few churches here in, in this city that will, ha, has had no problems accepting different races, and like I said, as the LGBT community, it has a big impact, and it would be, I'm, I'm sure it'll be remembered for a long time. We grew up in a Baptist church and living in the, we lived in the country and they only had church on Sunday, one Sunday out of the month. But we had Sunday school every Sunday. So all of us would meet at this little building and we uh, had Sunday school. I think that's where I learned most about the Bible. I was born and raised in Birmingham, Alabama. It was a southern town, I'm sure you know or have heard about it. 
it was very segregated. And the blacks in one place, the whites in the next neighborhood, different neighborhoods. I attended um, the Memphis Church at that time, and um, <clears throat> my whole family attended, and we went every Sunday morning to that church. And it was just a joy to be there because the whole family was there, and we sing all good uh, Christian songs, and we didn't have a piano, we just sang out of our hearts, which was very good. We had Sunday school every Sunday and we didn't have a car, so we walked. And uh, we were all Baptists. We didn't know of any other religion. We were sent to Sunday school in the town of West Los Angeles. They took us to Sunday school, but they belonged uh, to a church in downtown proper Los Angeles, a Japanese uh, Christian church. And as we grew older, we uh, I would say that I have spent almost every Sunday of my life either in Sunday school or uh, church. I lost a, a brother at a young age. I was at a young age at an uh, industrial accident. And uh, it really impacted me and made me be more aware of of uh, God, because I felt like if uh, I served God and I believed in God, that it wouldn't happen again. Uh, when our son was in a terrible accident and was uh, in uh, uh, ICU, that that was a, uh, uh, I depended on my faith to get me through and to get my son, our son through. When I was very young, my dad was killed in an automobile accident and along with my brother. And it was very hard. That was a very hard time for me and my, my mother. And she, with her being, you know, very spiritual and she was a comfort because she just kind of kept everything together. That was a big obstacle in my life at that point. I think that's what kind of, what really helped get me through that because of my faith, the prayer, and uh, my mother and the rest of the community, that was very, um, you know, helpful. In 1967, I was still in high school. I was a, a junior, I believe. And it was a very small church, uh, mostly elderly people. Um, all, I believe it was all white. Mm. Um, and we joined the choir right away, so I've always been in the choir. <laughs> when I lived in the South, the black people were in one church and the white people were in another church. Now it's a mixture. Here at Amesworth, I find sometimes as many, I find that we are mixed, a mixed group of Christians trying to go to the same place, which is heaven. So there is a difference in the, the, uh, <clears throat> the congregation's colors and all there is. 
Well, that was a time of challenge because the church was interracial. One of the struggles, I would think, would be that would the pastor be from a black community or a different racial background? And that, that was uh, an experience that they hadn't had before. An interim person came in to work between the two, and we had meetings, and there was uh, compromises, and there was uh, ideas of how, what direction we should go. And anyone that objected, as I said, they didn't stay. It's a, it's a family. It's, it's my church family. This church is really about reaching out to others, um, bringing people in that really wouldn't feel comfortable going to church. Um, I think we have something to offer for everybody. And I think it's a place where people feel comfortable coming and not feel intimidated. I, that, that's my feeling, yeah. It has to do with what I, how I perform in my everyday life. Hearing God's Word and what your everyday life can be about. And how you uh, perceive others in your daily life and how you treat others. And uh, how you w would like for others to treat you. That's what I get from it. And you know, it's just what God wants us to do.